Thanks, Sophie. Welcome to the Lego Mill. With Richard Thomas. has told the North there was no excuse for what he called the thuggery of people who took part in riots and violence in Sunderland, Middlesbrough and Hartlepool this summer. And that's why it was right, he says, for tough sentences to be imposed. He's also promised more investment in the region and says he does believe in the idea of levelling up. He was talking to our political editor, Richard Moss. I think it's really important that we are clear about this. This was thuggery. Um, and that's why we had to deal with it so decisively. And I want to be absolutely clear in the messaging out of this that if you um, throw things at the police, if you damage buildings, if you try to set fire to buildings, particularly with people in them, then you can expect to go through the criminal justice system fast and end up uh, with a criminal sentence, which is what happened. I accept that there are concerns about deprivation, about immigration, but in Britain, we deal with those questions democratically. And I'm not prepared to give an inch of excuse to those that resorted to violence, terrifying communities um, and individuals and businesses. Um, and that's why we had to deal with it so decisively. Since you came into office, leveling up the idea is, you know, the term has been banished. You've frozen road programmes, dueling programmes, the A1 and A66. You've frozen uh, you know, investment for levelling up funders promised to places like South Shields, Newcastle, Billingham and Kendall. What's going on? I, I think levelling up is really important, but I don't want it to be a slogan that's not delivered. The way to get levelling up is to make sure the economy is functioning better in all parts of the country. But so I said I want what's to happening with these developments? People, people in the region did not vote Labour to have less investment than under the Conservatives. I want more investment. And that is why we're stabilising the economy. I've spoken to investors um, about projects that I want them to invest in. What's held them back, they tell me, is the instability of the last government, the chopping and changing, the lack of a long-term strategy. That's why fixing the foundations, stabilising the economy is so important. I'm determined to get that investment in. I want to see, across the northeast people feeling better off, living standards going up. That's the promise I made to them. That's when will they find out about decision. these projects that were promised, though, and, and you've frozen at the moment, you said you can't commit to them? Well, we've got to go through a review to see what is deliverable. What I'm not going to do is make false promises to pretend to people there's money there that isn't there. So we're going through that review. But the reason we're doing all this tough stuff early on is because I'm determined to bring about the change that people voted for. And we can see more of Richard's interview with Keir Starmer on Politics North. That's at 10 o'clock on Sunday morning here on BBC One and the iPlayer. A Clayton police has started a murder investigation after the body of a 26-year-old man was found in Stockton this morning. Tonight, five people are in custody, being held on suspicion of murder. Peter Harris reports. Multiple crime scenes have been set up across the area as this murder investigation began. Cleveland police say they were called just after midnight to reports of a man who'd suffered stab wounds. The 26-year-old has since died. Now, eyewitnesses tell us that they've heard that the victim was in this area knocking on doors, asking for help. One man who's been speaking to us had heard a scream, went across and tried to save the victim's life. The, the neighbours said that he was banging on the door, so he, obviously when they put the door, he was, he was on the floor. And I said, I said, I said has anyone phoned an ambulance? I, went, I said, what's happened to him? And they said, oh, he's had a good kick and I think. I said, well, get him in the recovery position. As I lifted him up, I seen a pool of blood. So obviously, I thought he'd been stabbed. Now, as you can see, there are forensics officers still here working in this area. And Cleveland Police say they'll be here throughout the day on this investigation. And obviously, something like this happening, a man dying, stabbed in the street late at night, is a shock to many people who live here. She was stabbed because in my area and here, to my house, I'm very sad I'm at. What do you have about that, yeah? Cleveland Police say specialist officers are supporting the victim's family. Those arrested were being held on suspicion of murder. Tonight, police urged anyone with information or footage of the incident in Stockton to contact them. Peter Harris, BBC Look North.
Dighty has announced former Newcastle defender Mike Williamson as their new manager. He joined MK Dons last year, but the Blues have paid a release clause to make the 40-year-old their new boss. He replaces club legend Paul Simpson, who was sacked last month, with Carlisle struggling at the bottom of League Two. One thing we know is there's a group of lads that I've met today that have uh, trained uh, um, excited and they're all in and they're full-blooded and it was, a, it was a brilliant first session and you can see that they want to buy into everything um, and it's going to be an exciting adventure and um, we're looking forward to that. How much can supporters help you make that transition into the, the hot seat here and help the team? Yeah, well they're huge. They, they are the football club, aren't they? They're, they're, we are just here to try and support in this part of the journey and I'm looking forward to meeting the fans. So now here's Paul Moon. Good evening. The sort of temperature's up to 24 Celsius in Keswick in the sunshine today. Over the next few days there'll still be some good sunny spells for Cumbria, less so further east. The cloud is spilling in again as we head through the night. Quite extensive in eastern areas. Some of it will drift through into parts of Cumbria and under the clearer skies there we'll see some mist and fog reforming. Temperatures dip down to about 8 or 9 Celsius generally. One or two spots under the clearer skies, perhaps a little bit colder. Now that low clouds in the east tomorrow will be more persistent. There might be the odd spot of drizzle in it. They'll be much more reluctant to clear east of the Pennines. Still some good sunny spells in the west though, where we'll see temperatures peak around about 20 degrees Celsius. And it's a similar pattern through the weekend, Saturday and Sunday, best of the sunshine in the west, yet varying amounts of cloud in the east. And that's all from the night team. We'll have more in breakfast in the morning. Have a good night.